House martin populations are in decline and one of the reasons is a lack of suitable nesting sites. In this video we show you how to make a house martin nest cup to put up ready for their return to the UK in April. Okay so we've got our plastic pot, we've got our flour and water mixture um, and then we're going to do a papier mache um, these strips of paper cover it in the paste and then layer it up over our nest cup to make that template for um, the next steps. Okay, so this is the cardboard, or I've made it out of paper mache, but you could just use a cardboard bowl as a template. And then what I've done is mixed mud, cement, a little bit of moss, some water, made this mix and I've put it over the template and then we're hoping when it dries it'll be in that nice nest cup shape and it's just on a piece of wood like that. So house martins like to nest in colonies and they will use artificial nests so once you've got the consistency right and you've made one nest cup then definitely make more and put them together and hopefully you'll have a colony of house martins moving in. I've left my nest cup to dry uh, for a couple of days and it's nice and solid now so I'm ready to drill it to the side of the wall underneath the eaves which will offer it protection from the weather. There's studies that show that they prefer north and easterly directions but they are not too fussy so as long as they've got space to swoop in and swoop out. Uh, you should hopefully, fingers crossed, get some house martins moving in. If you are doing soap for nature this year, whether it's making a bird box or sowing wildflowers, please make sure you make a pledge for nature on the North Devon Biosphere website. It will appear on the map and inspire other people to try and help nature in their area. <laughs>